So question about newsletter versus social media content. Um, I mean, there's so many different ways of thinking about this and people do it in different ways. I keep it simple. And I simply think of my email newsletter as a service of convenience to my readers. Um, so some people follow me on social media and they might catch me, my posts every now and then, you know, they happen to catch it on social media. Great. That's fine. But if they say, well, I definitely want to not miss, you know, George's newest stuff or George's best things, then subscribing to my newsletter allows people to make sure they see it uh, because it's in the, it's in their email inbox. So I always, I obviously, since I do it this way, it's been, I've been doing this way for years. It seems to be working great. My open, my newsletter, email newsletter open rates are uh, higher than industry average. Industry average is somewhere around the low 20s. My, my newsletter open rate is in the low to mid 30s, sometimes high 30s. So you can see it's way higher than industry average. So in other words, the fact that I, I completely repeat in my email newsletter exactly what I wrote on social media, people don't seem to mind. In fact, they sometimes, sometimes they didn't see it at all on social because there's so many posts but sometimes they appreciate the reminder um, because they saw it and they didn't read it or they didn't watch it. And now they get to, you know, now they have a bit more time. They're reading the newsletter. They have a bit more time. So I recommend thinking of it that way. Your Nemo newsletter is a service of convenience for people who may have missed your social media posts that way. That way it's, um, it's all integrated. Uh, there's no need to create and I know some of you like to write love letters to your audience and you, you have you know, so many email newsletters are called love letters, right? It's like, come on, right? <laughs> in, my, in my opinion, it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit overdone or, or not overdone, but okay, whatever, it, it's up to you. But if you want to write a special little note for your newsletter that somehow doesn't feel appropriate for your social media audience, I think anything you put out in the newsletter, given that it's going out to lots of people, Dozens, hundreds, thousands, I don't know how big your email list is. It, it deserves to be put on social media too. It's like, what's the difference? I mean, anyone could afford your email. I mean, whatever you put on your email newsletter is public information. It's public. Anyone can forward it to a thousand people and you wouldn't know. So, well, I guess you could track the open rates or whatever, but it doesn't matter. Whatever you put on social media should be put on uh, your newsletter and vice versa. There's no difference. So make it easy on ourselves those of us who are solopreneurs particularly you don't have a team to like think through the this fancy this goes here this goes there just put it everywhere just put it everywhere keep it keep it simple so i hope that helps and so just one more reminder is i really invite you you know if you feel like oh i don't want to be redundant or boring on social media because my newsletters are so long and if i copy and paste them you don't you can let that go um social media posts the longer, uh, the more ideal readers you're going to get. Uh, the shorter, the bigger your audience will be, but far less ideal readers. Like if you just put an inspirational quote on social media, oh, tons of people will like you, you'll get followers. And, but then you realize after a while that, wow, many of them are not my ideal readers or ideal clients. And so longer articles posted on social media could be hundreds of words, even over a thousand words. That means you're going to get more dedicated readers that actually probably are your ideal clients more likely. So I invite you to, to be redundant on social media because people need to see something multiple times before they even read it. And then even after they read it, they need to read it multiple times before they understand it. So be redundant on social media. Don't worry about being boring because I found after years of doing it that the longer, the more ideal the audience becomes. So I hope this helps.